what to do with this. This is a standard pork chop, but pork chops, they're okay, but I, I wish that they would, um, a pork chops are nice, but I feel like there has to be something more. And I've done chicken curries, um, and I've done all sorts of meat in curry, but this time I want to do a uh, a curry from a pork chop. So, in fact, I'm going to use all of the pork chops, so four pork chops. I don't know how much that's going to be in weight, but let's see what happens. Firstly, we take out the bone. Seems to be the, the right way forward. So, let's take out all the bones. Yeah, that'll do. Turn that a little bit there. I'm going to keep the fat on because it's the fat that actually gives the meat its flavour, I think. There's another little bone in there, a bit of gristle. So we'll take that out. Yeah, we'll do this with all of them. Have a bone in here, um, bone in there. So, oy. let's take that out. I know many people think that pork is um, a dirty meat, but I'm kind of, when I was growing up, this was kind of like the meat that you had for families, because, well, for, I guess the easiest way to put this was this was a cheap meat so lots of families ate pork back in in England when I was growing up um, and there's something about the taste of pork That reminds me of my, my youth, really. I mean, I, I think that there's nothing better than to have um, pork with nice crispy skin and, and all of that, but it just tastes so, so nice. Right, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna chop this up into bite-sized chunks basically and then stick it in my trusty wok and see what happens there this is probably one of the best pans i've ever bought in my life so let's do this Get this done.
always find with the the curries is the fat that holds the flavours and it also gives us lovely moistness to the meat as it's cooking because this is going to be cooked um, quite quickly wait a bit more bone in there take that out my teeth are not as good as they used to be <laughs> but sure that could be said about anything really but here we go right now really wash the board here but I'm not going to because I'm just going to put an onion in there so this will all be cooked so it's not so much of a problem okay I'm going to make it so I'm, I'm not going to put as much onion in um, as I would normally do and I'll make a curry I'm just going to put one onion and I'm going to coarsely chop it. So it basically just adds a little bit of texture and a bit of flavour to. So we take that, do that, and just basically just coarsely chop. basic ingredients here for what I want to do which is Vasca Handana as the Norwegians would say I'm going to put a little bit of oil in here just enough to start it cooking really um, and then put this on the heat to get it doing what I want it to do Basically, I'm just putting it on um, on the heat, and I'll leave that. Turn it uh, so often, um, just so I can start to get a bit of heat in the meat. Um, it's gonna take about half an hour because the because the pork is chopped into bite-sized pieces. Then half an hour should really be about close enough. And also there is um, the spice mix, which I'm going to add, which um, if you look back through um, my videos, you will see that I've done a basic spice mix. That's what I'm gonna to use to make this curry. This is not an Indian curry, um, but it's, it's my take on a curry. And all I can say is that it works and people like it and um, several people have um, asked me how to do this again um, but they're fed up with chicken curry which I can understand um, so this is just to give an option or a, a further option so I hope you like it you can hear now it's just starting to sizzle away so I don't want to to cook this I prefer to cook it 
when it has the the sauce and everything on um, because that way I find that the, the sauce tends to permeate um, the meat just that little bit better so all I want really is a little bit of colour maybe to seal I'm only on uh, a very mild heat here um, midway I suppose now I don't know uh, I guess it's a personal thing but uh, for me um, I'm not really a fan of rice so I tend to to do things um, like a mashed potato or something like that with my curry a because I like my curries quite warm um, and two um, I guess also the the mashed potato cools the curry down for the mouth okay as you can see I've not cooked this um, fully all I've done is I've sealed it now I'm going to turn the temperature down to about three or maybe even two potatoes are on ready to cook now in this I want to add the spice mix here is a spice mix that I made earlier I like it quite warm so I'm going to put in maybe one and a half dessert spoons of this spice mix and oh the smell of this now it is just it's hitting you oh, it's nice you can see the colour of it is changing um, and I normally find that if, if you're doing a chicken curry or something like this then um, I've had uh, people messaging me that two teaspoons is hot um, so I'm putting in about one and a half, one and a three quarter dessert spoons in this. I'm going to leave that to simmer, but first I'm going to add um, some tomatoes into this and also some garlic as well. I have one carton of, I guess you could say it's, um, I guess you could say it's uh, chopped tomatoes or tomato puree. So I'm just going to rinse this out and I will we'll be back. Now I'm going to add about a tablespoon of garam masala. Yep, that's it. Put that in and give it a mix. Seriously people, if you could smell this now. My mouth is watering so much. Now I've done it wet because I want quite a lot of sauce on this. You can um, make this an awful lot drier than I have, but like I say, for me, I want um, something that's got quite a lot of sauce on it. So there you go. Just finish that off. Just pat it down, leave it to simmer a little bit longer. Um, and then We'll mash some potatoes up and give it a try. It already smells really spicy. Um, if it is too spicy for you, then the simplest thing to do really is to add um, a little um, coconut milk, uh, any milk because it's got fat in. You could even put cream in, I suppose, if you wanted, um, which will change the colour of it slightly. Um, but the, the cream or the coconut milk coats your tongue so it takes away some of the heat uh, I don't think it's gonna be that spicy um, but it may be spicy for for some people but that's just something to bear in mind
detail doesn't that look fantastic that looks like a dinner for a spicy god to me <laughs> i hope you enjoy it if you like what you've seen then please subscribe and like the channel um your subscription helps an awful lot uh, and if you can add comments or likes um, it helps with the algorithm which means that my video goes out to more people thank you very much for watching have a good night